All right, so we are at source number three. And for this one, we are looking at a Spanish explorer. Um, I'm kind of jumping ahead, but Bernal Diaz de Castillo. And this is what he wrote about the marketplace of Tenochtitlan when he was there to visit. So um, let's start with our context, just to make that clear, and then we'll start reading the source. So context says, Bernal Diaz de Castillo was a Spanish explorer and soldier who wore, wrote a memoir or a book about his time in what is today Mexico. He described his first encounter with the Aztecs and his memories of Tenochtitlan's market. So his memoir said, where more than 60,000 people come to buy and sell and where every kind of merchandise produced in the lands is found. Provisions, daily necessities, as well as ornaments, luxuries of gold and silver, lead, brass, copper, tin, stones, shells, hones, and feathers. They also sell lime, hewn, meaning cut or carved, or unhewn stone, adobe bricks, tiles, and cut and uncut wood of various kinds. There is a street where they sell game and birds of every species found in this land, partridges and quails, wild ducks. They sell rabbits and hares and stags and small gelded dogs, which they breed for eating. Okay, so for our questions, this one's pretty straightforward. What are three luxury items sold? So we can see right here that we've got luxuries, what are three of them that they're selling? And then we just want for the next question, what are three other items sold at the market? So it can be anything else besides what you've listed as luxuries. Okay. And finally, we're going to kind of think about how he, how he felt. When Bernal Diaz was looking at this marketplace, how do you think he felt? And you can say however you think he felt because you're going to explain your thinking behind it. So when he's looking at this marketplace that has all of these fancy things like shells and feathers um, and all these kinds of stone and bricks, there's animals that they can eat. What? What do you think he's feeling? And why do you think he would be feeling that? If you were just walking up to the city and you saw this marketplace with all this stuff in it, how do you think you'd feel? Why do you think you might feel that way? Okay. Then we're getting down here into our, um, into our sentences. So for this one, this is the first time we actually have something that we are quoting from. So in his letter, Bernal Diaz Castillo describes, how does he describe the market? So you're going to look and figure out which sentence best describes the marketplace. And when you've chosen that sentence, you are going to write it word for word below. So starting right here, you're going to write it word for word. When you're at the end of your, your sentence, you're going to put an ending quotation mark and then a period. So now your next step is to just sort of, in general, describe the markets at Tenochtitlan. So not quoting from anything here. Now you're in your own words, and you're going to just kind of describe what the markets were like. And our last sentence is, how is trade going to get people to want to come to the city of Tenochtitlan? So how would having this marketplace with all of this cool stuff in it, 
how is that going to make people want to travel to the city of Tenochtitlan? And if you're feeling stuck here, I always ask, who has ever been to Arden Fair Mall in Sacramento? And if you have traveled from Woodland to Arden Fair, why go there instead of the Woodland Mall? And that might help spark your thinking. Okay, this one was pretty easy. I hope that works for you. Um, it's time to go to number four. 